What's up guys? We are here with the ISF again today. And uh, on today's agenda, we got some window visors. So let me show you what we're working with here. So uh, right here, these just came in a couple days ago. Bought them off of eBay for I think around 50 bucks plus uh, shipping. But uh, these ones are, just picked these up from a buddy of mine who was selling his um, OEM window visors. Here we go. The only reason I like these is because they're pretty like low profile. I not digging the chrome, not digging the uh, color of the actual visor itself. It's a bit lighter than the, the cheap ones. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, uh, don't really know which one I want to install. Obviously, I want to stick with, with um, OEM, but yeah, like I said, they're uh, not dark enough. As you can see, the, the color difference. This one's a bit more lighter. But yeah, uh, they're pretty scratched up. I'm not too uh, worried about it. I can just hit it with some uh, plastics and then hopefully that will remove some of the scratches. I'm gonna get started uh, removing the existing double-sided tape and then I will give them a nice little polish and see if it removes some of those scratches. Still kind of undecided on which one I want to uh, install. But yeah, we'll get started uh, removing this old double-sided tape and then polish them up a bit. I just kind of mocked it up on the car with some uh, painter's tape really quick. This is the cheap version and uh, yeah I like it. how it uh, matches with the tint of my car so you can't really tell it's there which uh, I'm digging but uh, the only thing the downside to this one is that there's a huge like gap right here and uh, it's it's pretty noticeable. This is the uh, the front and the back like OEM window visors, just kind of test fitted on the car, and uh, yeah, looks pretty decent, I guess. But uh, still, I think the the cheaper ones, it's uh, the fact that they match the 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 tint on the windows. It, it doesn't really matter that it doesn't sit as flush because it just looks more seamless to me. Maybe once I um, wrap the black. It'll, it'll look different, but for now, I don't know. They just kind of, they look more noticeable than, than the, the eBay ones. Just tucks into this um, little thing right there. The little, I guess you call it an A-pillar? I don't know. So I'm just going to work on uh, soaking these in uh, Goo Gone, and then uh, hopefully take off the existing double-sided tape. Oh my god! What is So uh, just a quick update, it took me about like two, three hours to uh, remove um, the old double-sided tape, but most of it is gone. I'm going to uh, just soak a rag in Goo Gone and just go over it, just remove any of the existing residue. But uh, after we're done with that, we're going to start polishing the front and see if we can remove some of these little micro scratches. So most of the uh, residue is gone. There's uh, still uh, just a little bit, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. And uh, now I'm gonna get started polishing these up, or actually first I'm gonna hit it with some uh, degreaser and then uh, start polishing them up. So that's uh, the next step. All 
Alrighty. Um, hit it with some alcohol as well and uh, rubbed it off. And time to hit it with some polish and see how well she cleans up. As you can see here, there's a lot of scratches and stuff on the uh, plastic and the uh, chrome trim. So let's see if I can get rid of most of those. But yeah, let's do it. So, got a foam pad on my DA. I'm just gonna give it a quick couple passes and then, uh, cause I don't feel like doing it by hand. So I'm just gonna bang these out and we'll see what it looks like after. I just got uh, this. As you can see, it uh, didn't do too much. I think it's because the, the pad is too uh, light. I might need a heavier cutting pad. But uh, the only thing it did was kind of just make it more shiny. Here you go, you can see it there. So I got a microfiber cutting pad and then a just an orange foam cutting pad. And hopefully it's a bit more aggressive than the, the yellow one. But uh, I'm just gonna test um, both on two separate ones, see which one's better, and then go with that one. It's actually not that um, much of a difference, but this one on the right over here is the microfiber cutting pad, and then the one on the left is um, the orange cutting pad. The differences are pretty subtle, but the uh, microfiber cutting pad just uh, finished a little bit better than the, the orange cutting pad. All right, here we go. See, there's a bit more scratches on the left than on the right, but uh, yeah, there, it's not that, it wouldn't be that noticeable on the car. But I'm just gonna take the uh, microfiber to the remaining three, and then uh, we'll be done. Alrighty, I hit the front and the back with the uh, DA. It's uh, got rid of most of the scratches, you can still see some of it on there, but uh, now I'm gonna start uh, busting out the vinyl wrap and uh, go over these chrome trim. So unfortunately we uh, don't have enough uh, length on the wrap to wrap it in one piece. The short ones I can wrap in one piece, but the long ones, uh, the front visors, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do those in two pieces. Hopefully they won't be as noticeable. Here they are on the car. So yeah, just a super quick video of showcasing the two different types of window visors that I bought. The uh, cheaper and darker eBay ones, which uh, match the tint of my windows like perfectly. But also there's the uh, little gap in the front once installed. And the Lexus OEM ones, which uh, sit hella flush with the window that make it like not noticeable. But also at the same time, um, the lighter shade of dark black on the, the visor itself also make it a little bit more noticeable than the, the cheaper eBay ones. But uh, a bunch of people are probably gonna give, gonna give me uh, a lot of flack for this, but let me know in the comments which ones you think I should install. I'm probably leaning towards the um, the OEM ones just because of the fact that they are OEM and I picked them up for such a good price. Uh, also, not a lot of people have them on their cars as well because of the price. People can't justify dropping like four or $500 on uh, window visors alone. So it adds that bit of uh, specialness to the car. But uh, let me know what you guys think regardless. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Smash. Smash.